We have our two independent clauses for our compound structure. They're joined with a coordinating conjunction. I've listed a few of them here, and we're going to do an example of a compound structure. Sarah likes purple, but Miss Zand prefers red. The, the conjunction in this case is the word but. We are going to be looking for a subject and verb on both sides of it. The, in front of the word but, we've got Sarah likes purple. Here's Sarah and she likes. So our subject and verb is here. And on the other side of the coordinating conjunction, we have Miss Zand prefers red. Well, Miss Zand is a person who's functioning as a subject because Miss Zand is the one who prefers. You can prefer. That's a verb. Now we've got our independent clause, subject and verb, on the in front of the conjunction and a subject and verb behind the conjunction. The only thing we lack is this piece of punctuation, separating the clauses. Sarah likes purple would be the first independent clause. Miss Zand prefers red is the second independent clause. And between them, we need to have the punctuation mark of a comma. So there's a brief pause when you read something like this because the, the, co the comma tells you to pause. Sarah likes purple, but Miss Zand prefers red. It gives you, your, you just a split second, your brain just a split second to realize that this is one fact and that's In another. this example, I have a fever. My brother does too. I use the semicolon as the conjunction. So we've got this punctuation mark separating the clauses in lieu of an and, a but, an actual word. Okay, let's look. We're going to look for our subjects and verbs on each side of that semicolon. Kind of looks like a face, doesn't it? Okay. Um, I have a fever. I is a pronoun that functions as a subject. You can have that's a verb. So we've satisfied our subject and verb on the left-hand side of the conjunction. My brother does too. Here we have brother and does as the verb. So now we have the subject and verb on the right-hand side of the conjunction. In this case, it's a semicolon. When you have, when you use the semicolon, you do not need a comma before it, only when you use the coordinating conjunctions. The semicolon functions as the, the coordinating, in lieu of the coordinating conjunction and also the punctuation mark. So that's an example of a compound sentence using the semicolon. And let me take this off so it doesn't look like a face, but it might still to you.